Yes, guys, good evening to all. This evening, I'm here again at Paris Hill, St. Joseph, which is just above Andrew's factory. Before I get my murals at Paris Hill, I will just show you guys and those tenant trees through here and this is the Andrews factory the now defunct Andrews factory that sees operation in 2013 in late, between late 2013 and early yes because it was around 2013 when the Andrews factory ceased operation it was closed under the past government. It was closed to reopen as a multi-purpose factory. But this government, I'm not sure what they're going to do with it. But they said it was closed. The past government closed it to reopen as a multi-purpose factory. But that plan did not work out. This is Andrew's tenant tree through here. And I'm now approaching Paris Hill now, which is by the paintings. So again, I'm in the parish of St. Joseph, which is another a part of the Scotland district. The Scotland district is referred to as such because of its resemblance to the Scotland countryside. And it is the part of the island that carries the most hills as well. And this is a garden over here dedicated to the late Burton Burtmeers who is also a distant relative of mine so again St. Joseph is the smallest parish in Barbados and it's also one of the parishes here in Barbados that carries the most hills as well Garden dedicated to the late Burton Burtmeers. And the mural graphics here, which was done by Christopher R. L. Chandler and plastered by W. D. Blanche and Company. And this is Paris Hill through here. That will take you by the St. Anne's Church, by the Lamings, Irvy Hill and Sugar Hill. And this way to Bathsheba. And Horace Hill and the Granny Adams Memorial Secondary School. Which is at Blackman's in St. Joseph. And it will also take you back to Bathsheba. And And it will also take you back to uh, the East Coast, the George River and Catawash. So again, this is the lion face here. And a plaque giving the detail of the Parasol project, which was done by Christopher R. L. Chandler and plastered by W. D. Blanche and Company. And the list of sponsors are down below.
Look all the mules here. The giraffe. The zebra. The hippopotamus. The rhinoceros. And the ostrich and the eagle and the elephant, the chimpanzee. And this way about the St. Anne's Church, we have Paris Hill, Fairy Hill. And lambings here. So all the murals here and grip on the cut rock at Paris Hill, St. Joseph. Garden that was dedicated to the late Bert and Bert Mears. He was also a relative of mine. Back to Andrews Sugar Factory. You know the Funk Andrews Factory. Like what I said before, is no close. Under the past government, it was closed to reopen as a multi-purpose factory, but that did not come off. I don't know what this government is going to plan, have planned to do to it. This will also lead back to Market Hill and back into the parish of Saint George and back to Bridgeton as well. So as I said before, St. Joseph is my mother's birth parish. Parish in which my mother, one of my aunts and two uncles were born and raised right here in the parish of St. Joseph in nearby Banksbury, which is up the road here. And this one, this painting advertising the pandas supermarket at St. Elizabeth Village. So as I said before, this way to Branchbury, Coffee Gully, Horse Hill, St. Elizabeth, Bathsheba, George River, East Coast, anywhere so in Barbados. Thanks for watching once again and have a blessed evening.